How's it going guys? My name is Doe and today I'll be showcasing what the heroic dies look like on your armor. And I'll be showcasing it on the season 4 and season 3 hunt pass armor. You can't get any more currently, but uh, it's just, I'm choosing this armor because it has different textures for the pieces. So you can see what it looks like on different uh, surfaces of armored material, I guess. I'm not sure how that works, but some material looks different when you dye it. That's just how it is. Anyway, these dyes actually look really cool in my opinion, especially the Sub-Zero, Sovereign, Smolder, and the wildfire dies. They just look really good, and I actually prefer them over some of the other dies. Like personally, I like I like these heroic dies, which you get by playing the game a lot more than some of the dies you can actually buy. And speaking of that, if you want to buy some dies, be sure to use code Odo in the Epic Game Store. It helps me out, and I would uh, appreciate it. But in all seriousness, you do not have to buy any dies if you don't want to, and you can earn a white-looking die, which you can't really buy, I don't think, right now, and that will be called Supernova, and it's from Resikiri. And just pay attention to the bottom left corner. I'll be showcasing the behemoth is from and like what the what it looks like on the screen. And I'll, I'll probably I'll probably leave a list of the dies in the comments below. But getting these dies is done by fighting heroic behemoths. And each heroic behemoth drops a specific die. And the dies you cannot get right now are going to be virtuoso sagacity sagacity sagacity. I don't know how you say that word. And scintilla. <laughs> How do you say these words? Scintilla, Scintilla, I don't know. Those dies are unobtainable because I'm pretty sure they're gonna be from Heroic Drask's Grave and Stormclaw, which that won't be their name, I don't think. They'll have like some fancy names, but those are unobtainable because those behemoths do not have dire versions or heroic versions yet. But every other behemoth does have a die. If you want that die, you gotta fight the heroic behemoth. You can do that by fighting in heroic patrols, heroic plus patrols, you can pick whatever you want to do, but it has to be Heroic or anything past Heroic, which currently it's Heroic or Heroic Plus. So that's what you have to do to get these dies. And the drop chance isn't going to be crazy high. It's not It's not crazy low per se either, but it's not going to be like super wildly high. So it's going to take a bit of grinding to get them, but when you do get them, it should be worth it because these dies do look good. Especially, and I'm telling you, the blue die, Sub-Zero, is probably one of my favorite dies in the game because I like blue. But hey, if you don't like blue, there will be a die you might like because there are 16 different dies you can get from doing heroics. And by the way, there is no heroic version of Shroud or Resikiri. That doesn't matter. If you fight Shroud or Resikiri, they can drop their own dies. Eclipse from Shroud and Supernova from Resikiri, like I said earlier. So don't worry about doing that too much. Just make sure you're doing pursuing. Just make sure you're pursuing either heroic behemoths or you're doing heroic patrols or heroic plus patrols to get these dies. And uh, I should have probably shown this earlier, but if you want to actually equip dies, either go to L on the keyboard or hit escape and then go to loadout, then click on a piece of gear. It has to be armor to dye it. So click on a piece of armor and then go to dye and transmog. And once you do that, you'll see like a big dye menu. There are currently two dye channels. In the future, there'll be three, but right now there are only two. So click one and then click, you know, pick, pick a dye. You can click both and pick a dye and then click apply if you want to like save some time but that is just up to you. But anyway guys, this is a short video and that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys liked it, leave a like. If you want to subscribe to the channel for more Dauntless content. I can never say that word. For more Dauntless content. And if you guys want to, check out my Twitch channel. I do stream this game very regularly. I'm a Dauntless partner, I have my own Flair, which is a subscriber incentive. On top of that, I have my Epic Games support career code, which is Odo. And by the way, y'all, if you want to check out some other content creators because, you know, I'm not cutting it or if you want to see some more content that I'm not making, check out Revy Rad and Zanny Phantom. They are two awesome dudes, some of my good friends that I've been playing this game with for a while now. And they put out content that I actually trust and I think is worth your time to watch if you want to learn more about the game. So give the channels a look and guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.